Hi viewers, welcome back to Suthi's Biology. So, sorry for a long gap. So, in the middle of our channel, la, professional English. Marbudi Pakla. So, semester 1 la, la, physical science and life science. Rendit me video podlan rake. So, in the middle of our channel, professional English for physical science. So, this is unit 1 communication. Uh, pakla. So, in the middle of our channel, we have words. Kranga. So, learning new concepts, new words. How to express it, share it, we will tell you how to do it. So, pre-task is a new word. So, that's the detail. Let's see what we have to say. So, in the words, we have to say the meaning. So, that's the second part. So, let's see what we have to say the passage. So, water has no color. Then, why does the sea look blue? In the question, we will see the answer in the passage. So the Indian scientist who found why the sea is blue. In the question can answer the in the passage. So a glass of water has no color. But a deep sea with the same water is a brilliant blue. Why is this so? So this was the question that, that C. V. Raman asked himself in 1921 on seeing the color of the Mediterranean Sea from a ship. He immediately began to conduct experiments on board the ship using some simple instruments he had with him. At that time, scientists believed the sea was blue because it reflected the color of the sky. But Raman found that it was the water itself that caused blue light to scatter more than other colors in light. So, in the parallel, what did you say? If you look at a glass of water, it's not a color. But if you look at a color, it's a blue color. It's a brilliant blue color. Why did you say that? This question is the C.V. Raman. So, in 1921, Orang yang Mediterranean Sea la, orang ship la pergi turun mod, kita kelbi kana, vidai dah, nama laki ni kerja cer Raman effect. So orang yang koshin arai dah nona, orang nara ya simple instrument tu bocik tu, nara eksperimen panni pada tu, kerja sih la, ini mari sky orang reflection ada illa, water dah ada reason, water bandar nara ya orang blue light tu scatter panni tu, vary colours tu scatter panni tu, abdin kandu putih tu orang effect dah Raman effect. So Raman return from his visit to England and Europe and started experiments to study how light behaved when it passed through various substances. And the visit England and Europe point to another thing. Now, many experiments done are done. How did light when it behaved when it passed through various substances, crystals, and the prism? And the whole thing passed. Done. Many experiments done. So on February 28, 1928, la one of the experiment gave a clear result. So our done experiment la our got a better result. Got it. So light of only one color was passed through a liquid, but the light emerged had small traces of another color. One color and the liquid will pass panna kuda, and the veli le vandha light le nareya traces of colors, another colors dum pather kran. So this meant that the molecules in the liquid were changing the color of some of the light passing through it. So idhi eden alla air patiya abdin pating na, and the liquid le vulla molecules edo onne and the Light pass pandra light orang color zin change panir ke abdin kandu putih changa. So in this discovery created a sensation around the world and was named the Raman effect. So in the discovery itu, orang world level la orang sensation create panis ke. So Raman effect abdin perlu putih changa. In 1930, C V Raman became the first person from Asia to be awarded a Nobel Prize in any field of science. So in the discovery kaga orang kore Nobel Prize um putih changa 1930 la. The date February 28, India la National Science Day one amma celebrate pani tuko. So the Raman effect has been very useful in many areas of science. So in the effect, nareya fields of science, chemistry, medicine, biology, abdi na different fields la use pan aram changa, and that is called as Raman spectroscopy. Abdi na concepta nareya fields la use pan aram changa. Recently, people have used the idea to make a device. Ide principle concepta vichhe. Raman scanner is an instrument that can be pointed at a substance. And the scanner is a substance that you point out to tell what it is. That's why we know what it is. That's why you pass the light and you know what it is. You know what it is, what it is, what substance, what molecules are in our body. So, in the Raman scanner, the police department, they use the scanner to find out if people are carrying banned substances. Sadai say, but the purutkal era, the karatit porangla, and the mari check pan rathika, idhe principle helpful. So, simply brilliant, he was a man of extraordinary ability. So, he passed his 10th standard. He is in the parallel or history, so he passed his 10th standard when he was just 11 years old 
and at 15 he had a degree with gold medals in physics and english and uh, when he was 19 he had an ma so avanga um, college la professor ella professors ellame vande they allow him to skip science science class la or attend panna kuda theva illa ena avurke illa theriyum appdin nenachaanga so in addition to being brilliant he was also intensely curious about the world around him so we saw how his curiosity about the color of the sea led to the discovery of the roman effect so avaroda curiosity pathi neenga nallave illa therinjikalam so avaru avlo curious ah yen the color blue ah irundhuchu sea oda color yen blue ah irukku nu avaru nenachi think pannanaala dhaan nammalku indha raman effect abindra concept kadichathu so his curiosity led to a wide range of scientific work so on his 1921 trip to england he was taken to st paul's cathedral so uh, he became so excited by the whispering gallery that that he performed some experiments and wrote scientific papers about it so in england la avaru met panna and edathile nareya experiments scientific papers ellame eludnaru as a child he also had seen his father play the violin so much of his life's research work was about the science behind the music so avaroda research vand he also interested in music so he investigated the effect of sound on light and the structure of crystals rendume padika aramchar research panna aramchar so sound oda effect yum and then light oda effects and the structure of crystals ellathiyum investigate panna aramchar so avaru collect panna and the crystals ellame vande raman research institute in bangalore la preserve panni vechirukkranga and cv raman appdin solrom so full form pathina chandrasekhara venkatraman so he was born at trichirapalli in southern india on november 7 1888 so i am proud to uh, say that my native is also trichy so sir tv raman so trichy la perundavanrathu romba perumaiya irukku so his father was a lecturer in mathematics and physics and from a young age raman was immersed in an academic atmosphere chinna vayathilende apdi and academic atmosphere le irundadnala avarku idala easy ah irundhu so he joined presidency college madras in 1902 and in 1904 he passed his ba examination and then he won the gold medal in physics and in 1907 he completed his graduation with a distinction so our earliest research pathina was in optics and acoustics optics appadina light sambandhapatta acoustics appadina sound sambandhapatta so in the rendu ends of investigation yum avaru thannoda career la apdi dedicate pannikittar indha rendu fields kagavo so idellame avaroda student ah irundha pe indha research ella avar pannar so at that time a scientific career did not appear to present the best possibilities so appa in the situation la avarala best kudukamulla so he joined the indian finance department in 1907 so though the duties of his work um, took most of his time so vela adhigama irundha kuda he found opportunities for carrying on experimental research in the laboratory and uh, he Uh, did the experiment in indian association for the cultivation of science at calcutta and in 1917 he was offered the newly endowed pali chair of physics at calcutta university and decided to accept it so our chair uh, person appoint pannanga calcutta university la and after 15 years he became professor at the indian institute of science at bangalore and in 1948 he was made the director of the raman institute of research at bangalore and then he also found the indian journal of physics so he was the editor so journal of physics abdi known and the journal ku our editor and there and he sponsored the establishment of the indian academy of sciences so and served at its first president and he also initiated the proceedings of the academy so in the mari avaroda career la nariya journals publish panna the articles publish panna the ellame so in 1922 la molecular diffraction of light la avaroda work publish pannaru so and then uh, february 28 la radiation effect avaru peru vechi raman effect abindra nadiyum new radiation the journal la publish pannanga so nobel prize 1930 la kedachathu idhe mari other investigation idu ellame vande avaru panna experiment so uh, x rays la indha vara vibrations ellathiyum crystals ordinary light in the mari nariya theoretical and experimental studies panindar so 1948 la uh, he studied the spectroscopic behavior of the crystal so uh, laboratory la he was dealing with the structure and properties of diamond 
and then optical behavior of uh, many substances so labradorite purely feldspar and the many nareya crystals eduthe um, study panni paathen so among his other interest uh, the optics of colloids and magnetic anisotropy physiology of human vision idella avaroda other interest ah irundathu and he was honored and uh, with a large number of honorary doctorates and memberships of scientific societies so ivlo perumai vaindha and sat tv raman so he died on november 21 1970 so indha mari avarkitte indha nammalo nareya learn pannikkom so adunala da indha ungale motivate pandrathukaga da indha passage kuduthirukranga so ipo task 1 ku polam so task 1 la indha audio va listen pannite answer panna solliranga so indha chinna box la சில டேர்ம்ஸ் கொடுத்துருக்குறாங்க அது டிவைஸா கான்செப்டா ப்ராசஸா அப்படின்னு கேட்டிருக்காங்க ஸோ ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஒன் ராமன் எஃபெக்ட் இட் இஸ் அ ப்ராசஸ் ஸ்கேட்டரிங் இட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ ஏ ப்ராசஸ் அண்ட் தேர்ட் ஒன் கிறிஸ்டல் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் இட் இஸ் அ டிவைஸ் அண்ட் ஃபோர்த் ஒன் அக்கௌஸ்டிக்ஸ் இட் இஸ் அ கான்செப்ட் அண்ட் ஆப்டிக்ஸ் ஆஃப் கொலாய்ட்ஸ் இட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ ஏ கான்செப்ட் பிரிசம் இட் இஸ் அ டிவைஸ் அண்ட் டிஃப்ராக்ஷன் இஸ் அ ப்ராசஸ் ஸோ இதுதான் இந்த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் டாஸ்க் ஒன்னோட ஆன்சர்ஸ் அண்ட் டாஸ்க் டூவை பற்றி டீட்டெயில் தான் நான் நெக்ஸ்ட் part 2 a video paakla and third one match the following paakla so crystal dynamics adoda answer enna appdin paathina the vibrational movement of atoms in the solid state adhu da adoda correct answer and second one hypersonic appdina hyper na adhigam so in a speed of more than 5 mach 5 mach endra the units so adhu da adoda answer hypersonic and ultrasonic appdina a frequency above the human ears audibility limit அது தான் அதோட ஆன்சர் அண்ட் தென் ஆப்டிக்ஸ் இட் ஸ்டடீஸ் த பிஹேவியர் அண்ட் ப்ராப்பர்ட்டிஸ் ஆஃப் லைட் அண்ட் அக்கோஸ்டிக்ஸ் இட் இஸ் கன்சர்ன் வித் த ப்ராப்பர்ட்டிஸ் ஆஃப் சவுண்ட் ஸோ டாஸ்க் த்ரீயோட ஆன்சர்ஸ் இவ்வளோதான் அண்ட் லாஸ்ட்டாக டாஸ்க் ஃபோர் கொடுத்துருக்குறாங்க பில்லிந்தி பிளாங்க் ஸோ ஸ்பெக்ட்ரோஸ்கோபி இட் இஸ் த ஸ்டடி ஆஃப் த இன்ட்ராக்ஷன் பிட்வீன் மேட்டர் அண்ட் எலக்ட்ரோ மேக்னட்டிக் ரேடியேஷன் ஸோ ஃபஸ்ட் ஃபில்லப் வந்து இன்ட்ராக்ஷன் செகண்ட் ஃபில்லப் மேட்டர் தேர்ட் ஃபில்லப் ரேடியேஷன் அண்ட் ஃபோர்த் ஒன் it is originated through the study of visible light and fifth dash is according to its wavelength by a prism so idu da and fill up oda answers so remaining and the pre task la ulla words oda meaning so and in the box la ulla terms oda information um part 2 va na podren so kindly give your support as usual so pudusa paakravanga unga friends ku share pannunga so first ug um, bsc students for physical science so avanga ellarkume idu neenga share pannala subscribe pannala unga comments la comment section la unga views and uh, suggestions kudunga so thanks for watching and uh, see you on uh, next video thank you bye so this biology always makes your learning easy bye